Hi there. Uh, in this video, I'd like to introduce you to uh, creating resources in TeachVid. Um, I'm going to use um, a resource which is based on a series of parallel text knowledge organizers, which were aimed at covering an entire topic of Year 7 French. So it's um, content that's aimed at beginners, but probably would have been taught over a sequence of lessons. So the content is based on uh, several paragraphs which have been combined to make one single resource. So, first thing we do is we go to um, TeachVid. Uh, I'm already logged in, so I can go through to the resources. Okay, on the resources page, we want to create a resource. We go to My Resources, and then we click on Create New Resource. And this uh, pop-up is the pop-up that we use to take us through the several steps that are involved in creating a video resource on TeachFit. Now, the first thing to do is to paste in the URL for our video. And so this video, as I explained, is based on um, several uh, parallel text knowledge organizers. I've then put the text into a text-to-speech generator tool, which has created an MP3, and then I've used the Windows Photos app, Windows 10 Photos app, to create uh, an MP4 video, which I've uploaded to YouTube. The video is in French. That's the first step done. Comment est ta famille? Okay, and there's Dans our ma video. Famille, il y a I'll plein pause de it a sec. Now, the first thing we need to do is, is decide whether or not we want to crop the video at all. Now, because I've created this video myself and it's based around the um, MP3 audio that I created, uh, there's no need to crop it because it's just the right length already. So we click on Next and we go to Transcript. Now, first thing to do is to enable a, a transcript resource. If we skip this stage and click on next, we'll go straight to a quiz and we make the same kind of multiple choice quiz that you might make with something such as Edpuzzle. But we're not going to make a quiz today, we're going to make a transcript resource. So we click the button here to enable that. And then I'm going to copy and paste in the uh, text, which I've got um, in a different document, and paste in the transcript for the, um, for the video. So it's quite a long text. The video is only two minutes long, but there's quite a lot of, of uh, text content in it. Um, so that's the first step, in, uh, add in our transcript. Then we click on Next. Uh, the next step, we have to then divide our transcript into captions. Now you'll see it's been automatically divided by line breaks so far. So it's been split into five mostly very long captions. What we want to do there is we want to break our captions down so that they are more manageable and each one's based around a, a short sentence or a couple of sentences of the video. So, to do that, all we need to do is click into the blue uh, caption bubbles to split them. If you decide you want to rejoin things together or to join two adjacent captions, you can click on the little plus there to join them back together. In this case, though, we want to split them. So, one caption, a second caption, okay, and okay, so that's the first paragraph dealt with. We we'll move on to the next one. Mon père s'appelle Eric et il a 45 ans. Okay, there. In fact, no, we can include the, the uh, Eric's birthday information along with his age. And then we can move on to the mother. Ma mère s'appelle Annie, elle a 38 ans et elle est née le premier ordre. Et so on. Keep doing that until we've finished this paragraph. And then we'll carry on until we've finished the whole thing. Okay, so now we have our whole transcript broken down into the various captions. There are 24 captions in total. At this point, I'll just show you something that happens if you go back to your original uh, transcript window. You'll see that it's uh, had um, vertical bars added and various other bits and pieces to, um, to keep track of where the um, text has been split up into captions. Okay, so we've got our captions. The next step is timings. Okay, so I'll demonstrate a few of these. 
Um, essentially what we have to do at this stage is, is fix a start and end time for all of our 24 captions. The best way to do this is to use the hold to auto advance button and we press this down to advance the video and we, we then release it to stop the video. Comment est ta famille? Okay. So, and I'm going to, you can use these uh, plus and minus buttons to change the start time and to change the end time. Every click should change it by a tenth of a second. So, for example, this first caption now sounds like this. Comment est ta famille? Okay, perfect. Click on the right arrow to move to the next caption. Okay. And hold to auto advance again. Dans ma famille, il y a plein de personnes. Now you notice there was a, um, a bit of a gap before it started speaking, so I'm going to advance the start time by, say, three tenths of a second, so that it fits perfectly. Dans ma famille, Another one. Dans ma famille, il y a plein de personnes. Okay, next caption. Tout d'abord, il y a mon père, ma mère, ma sœur et mon frère. Next. Puis, j'ai aussi un oncle et une tante et mes grands-parents. Okay, I'll pause the video while I finish the rest of those and then we'll move on to the next step. Okay, so I finished setting all the times for all the captions. That took me uh, two or three minutes to do. You can see that they've all now got their corresponding start and end time marked on the progress bar for the video. So we click on next. The next step is optional. You can create a resource on Teachfed that doesn't have any translations. But I think you get so much more out of it if you do include the translations. And since we're using uh, essentially a, a parallel text resource, um, you need to add the uh, translations if you want to see the parallel English text. So the first thing we do is we enable the translations. And then we've got the option here to automatically translate all of our captions using uh, Google Translate. So we'll choose the language. So we're going to translate our text to English and then we click on Auto Translate. Okay. And it gives us our translations. Now, the translations that uh, appeared in this original text uh, included, for example, Como uh, famille, meaning what is your family like? Because the person wanting to include a fairly literal translation it does indeed have the same translation as, as uh, Google came up with here, which is how is your family. So I'll leave it like that and we'll go through some of the others and make sure that they're okay, see if there's anything we need to change. In my family, there are lots of people. First of all, there's my father, my mother, let's put the my in because it's in the French, my sister and my brother. Then I also have an uncle and an aunt and my grandparents. Let's put the comma in, so it's the same as the French, without forgetting all my add in a difference here, the male cousins and female cousins. Of course. I'm gonna go through the rest of the translations, making sure they are uh, the way I'd like them to be. So I'll pause the video while I do that. Okay, so I've checked through all of the translations and I'm happy with them. Um, most of them are fairly literal translations because that helps to explain um, the structure of the French. So we click on next. The next section is chunks. Now what we do here is that we can give specific translations and notes for um, uh, all the different chunks that make up the sentences that make up our captions. So for example, we could say here that we want to split this into two chunks. Comment uh, est is how is. I'm going to put an explanation there. And your family. Next. In my family, there are lots of people. In my family, there are lots of people. Next one, first of all, there is dad, and my sister, and my brother. Just put that one in for us automatically because there's a chunk that's repeated, but in this case, the English needs to be there is. 
first of all, there it is, my father. And do you notice what I'm doing here is I'm selecting the words and then just clicking to paste them into the correct position. It's quick and easy to do, you don't have to type in. Now, pause the video again while I finish doing this. Okay, so I've now finished going through all uh, 24 captions for this resource and uh, I've split each caption down into chunks. Now, I should have said before that this um, caption chunks is actually um, an optional step. You don't have to do it. Um, it only affects a couple of the activities and a couple of the worksheets. Um, so you can leave it out. I think it's nicer if, it, if your resource is chunked because it means that for example the multi-choice activity um, is based on um, far more smaller chunks. Okay well that's oh, that's the last uh, stage of, the, of what we're going to do with this resource. Um, we have the option to create a multiple choice quiz but um, as you can see it's just a matter of clicking into the video and adding questions but we're not going to do that now so I'm going to turn off that option and go to next, which should be the final stage. And all we need to do there is give our resource a title. Okay, um, language, level, beginner, category. I think I need some more categories, but I'm going to put other for now. Um, the description is the uh, description I've just uh, copied and pasted from, uh, from the YouTube video itself. see what that says. I'm going to make it public and copyable which means other people can use it and make a copy of it and maybe edit it and add questions or whatever. And that's it. So I'll just click on upload and our resource is finished. Give it a second. There it is. Okay. So our resource now appears in my resources. In my resource search. So I'm going to um, Click to open our resource so we can have a quick look at it. Okay, so there's the resource. Underneath the resource itself are the printables, so you can do things such as uh, print out a transcript, a translation, uh, parallel. I'll show you some of these maybe. Parallel. Okay, so parallel takes the two texts and puts the captions side by side so you can make a direct comparison with them. So there's that. We also have uh, jigsaw reading. Mix-up is a bit like um, Tangled Translation. It basically takes all of those chunks that we defined and puts them all together so that you've got one French chunk, one English chunk, etc. So your text ends up looking a bit like this. How is ta famille? In my famille, il y a lots of people, etc. So it's quite a, a useful um, <laughs> text activity to have. Let's have a look at the interactive player then. So we click on open resource and there's our video. Comment est ta famille? Okay, I just click this button here. This is called auto pause. And what this does is it makes sure that the video stops after each caption. What this allows you to do is to click on the chunks. Comment est? So we go comment est and we've got our little explanation there. Ta famille? And that's read using a text-to-speech which is built into TeachFit. And we can click on the screen to start again. Dans ma famille, il y a plein de personnes. Now we can choose whether we want to see... I'll turn off the auto-pause now. Tout d'abord, il y a mon père, We can see the English at the bottom, ma mère, ma the French at the bottom, et mon frère. and on the side here we can see Puis, this as an English translation or a full transcript. Sans oublier tous mes cousins and to cousines, access the activities, we we'll click on the activities button. Mon père. And the activities. If you're logged in, every time you go into the activity, it will remember your progress so you can join an activity and come out of it and rejoin it again halfway through. Okay, and it'll remember your progress. So multiple choice, this is the one that requires you to um, rebuild the text using the options provided. And this uses those chunks that we defined in one of the previous steps. Comment est ta famille? Comment est ta famille? 
Dans ma famille, il y a plein de personnes. Tout d'abord, il y a mon père, ma mère. On peut choisir la vidéo, donc nous travaillons juste avec le parallèle texte. Nous pouvons choisir le texte, donc nous travaillons juste avec l'activité par itself. Donc c'est juste une activité de mémoire. Nous pouvons avoir l'activité avec la vidéo, mais sans le parallèle texte. Tout d'abord, il y a mon père, ma mère, ma sœur et mon frère. Puis, j'ai aussi okay. un oncle et une tante. Put the parallel text on the video parents. and the activity together. Okay, you see how that works. So if I leave that now and go back to the activity menu, you'll see that my progress has been stored there. And next time, I, if I rejoin it, I'll, I'll rejoin it in the correct space. We have uh, gap fills. Comment est ta famille? Dans ma famille, il y a plein de personnes. Tout d'abord... Okay. We also have space, which is separating the words. Comment est ta famille? Dans ma famille, il y a plein de personnes. We also have a jumble. Comment est ta famille? Dans ma famille, il y a plein de personnes. Tout d'abord. Uh, we have a gap spell, which is the same similar to the gap fill, except you have to write in the missing letters. Comment est ta famille? Dans ma famille, il y a plein de personnes. Tout d'abord. And these other activities are all basically uh, spelling activities. So, for example, initials 50 is, is half Comment of the text affected, famille? but you're shown the initial letter. And initials 100 is 100% of the text affected. Comment est ta famille? But you're shown the initial letter. And there is a version that shows that takes away the vowels takes away the consonants, or there's a version <coughs> which just takes away all of the letters and Comment just leaves you with the shape. Um, so that's a quick run through of all the activities that you've uh, created as part of your resource, but I'll do other videos which look more in detail, more in depth on the actual activities and the PDF printables themselves.